You're also into sports, yeah. uh, but you know, sports is sort of a, a business for you. Uh, you, you own uh, ever, um, Blackwater Bossing, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, how's, the, how's the team? How's the PBA? Uh, well, the team is not doing that well. It's so hard to uh, win in PBA today. <laughs> you got two huge conglomerates, which uh, practically they got all the best players in town. They got all the budgets. And uh, two weeks ago, I was in Okinawa, the EESL. I, I, uh, I took notice of the, the Okinawa team called the Ryuku, Ryuku Kings. Okay. Well, they have uh, our, one of our players there. And I saw them, how the team earning money is to the merchandise of their jerseys. Okay. So that's one thing that I think PBS should take a look at it. How, how it should be individual teams running their own stuff, uh, selling their jerseys, marketing it, so that we can earn our monies and not using uh, company uh, budgets to support the team. Mm. So these are eye-openers, and also the way they play their basketball game is different already. It's okay. a team game. Okay. Not like Dito, Puru, yeah. one-man show, yeah. NBA style. So, yeah. And NBA style is nice to watch, but cannot win games. Yeah, but do, you, do you still practice with your team? I heard you practice I, uh, with them during the warm-up. Uh, I used to do that before <laughs> uh, the COVID lockdown. Okay. So it stopped three years already. So yeah. the last month I tried, but cannot do it anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, uh, uh, how, how, how's the PBA? I mean, is it, um, what, what's the future? Because uh, there were, you know, some speculation in the past that some teams may be yeah. leaving the league. Uh, uh, is your team Blackwater one of those, or um, what, what's your what's your sense of the health of the league itself? Yeah. Well, a few year, two three years ago, there's a tampo on my, on myself. Okay, but that's no more. That's not there anymore. Okay. So right now, I want to help the PBA and the other governors to take a look at the the league as a money earning, not as an expense department. Okay. So right now, it's all the current companies. It's all going spend, out. Who, yeah. All going out, all yeah. incoming. Right. So, like that store in uh, Okinawa Stadium, that's old store, do three to four million dollar a year. That's 200 million peso sales in one store. Wow. wow. So, sabi ko, easily 50% ang income. Right. The 100 million is already enough to fund yeah. the basketball team. Right. So, we should do that, something like that, and uh, tweet it na lang. Yeah. Have you had a chance to discuss this with the PBA officials? To Not yet, but... Uh, okay. The licensing for the merchandise? Now? Actually, there's already licensing, but... It's the PB itself running it. I see. I want to. You want the teams to to do it on their own. On their own, to, on right. their own. And then maybe PBA come up with a store. Yeah. And then all the teams have their merchandise there. Yeah. Then pagaligan natin mag merchandise. Right. Know? Something right. like that. Then it, there's a lot of creativity and and how to uh, make your team popular. Yeah. How to make your players. Uh, popular so they can sell their products. Now you said you're 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 happy now with with PBA. Yeah. Is that your sense with the other team owners? I mean, uh, uh, moving forward. I mean, wh what's the wh what's your sense of uh, the future of PBA? Well, the PBA today is very united. Okay. Not like uh, a few years back when okay. the San Miguel and the MVP group are in fighting. Okay. So, Parang, parang government yan eh. So okay. nothing is done when there's always infighting. So the competition on the court also... Outside. The ex extended to the Yeah, the, the boardroom. Yeah. yeah. So now we don't see that anymore. Okay. Everybody's working together, okay. supporting one another. In fact, all the PBA teams are helping the MVP group on the World Cup, forthcoming World Cup okay. here in Manila in August. Okay. So these are the positive signs that I'm looking at. So going further is how to market the league and simply merchandising and yeah. all the other stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think it's about time that the PBA should get some young brains. Like, I cannot do it. I asked my daughter to come in. So get some 20, 30 year old. The, the one running ever Yeah, something okay. like that. You get okay. young people to come in to make the league younger. Okay. Make it more exciting because tayo, <laughs> we know who, they, who we are. Right. So there should be young blood na right. to help run the league. Yeah. Right. I, I, I'm, I'm not an expert in, yeah. in this, but I heard that there are many other smaller leagues now cropping up. Yeah. Uh, is that good or bad for PBA? I think these small leagues 
are seeing the opportunities. Okay. That the PBA doesn't see it. Okay. Because PBA no doesn't need outside funding. It's all the okay. companies spending. Okay. So these guys are coming up because they can see the opportunity. Right. And right. this normally these are run by younger guys. Yeah. So it's about time to wake up and yeah. look at it, how to run it by the younger people. What, what do you think about, you know, um, maybe changing it or, again, I mean, I may, this may be a stupid question, but what do you think about maybe, maybe sort of following the style of the NBA where it's more regional representation in, in the teams, right? Because, you know, you, you know, in the collegiate yeah. level, there's a lot of interest and, 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 and yeah. followers in the rivalry, say, of Ateneo yeah. or La Salle, for yeah. But, um, uh, you know, how, how do we replicate that in the professional league? You think that we have, you know, equally high passions, you know, for, 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 for different teams like that? The NBA is success, uh, NBA is successful because, uh, because of the home and away concept. Yeah, yeah. So I think the PBA this coming year, they will have more of the out-of-town games. Okay. Which we stopped three, four years ago because for obvious reasons we cannot do it. Uh, pandemic? Pandemic, yeah. yeah. Now that it's open, so PBA is looking at it again. But is it also the question of infrastructure or maybe having, you know, the arenas to, to play in that, you know, would have the standards yeah. that, that are, you know, professional yeah. in, in uh, level? I think there's enough uh, uh, arenas already outside Manila. Outside of Manila. Yeah, there's a lot already. So that's not an issue? That's not an issue anymore. The okay. issue is to help it more often right. and also to create more rivalries among teams. Right. Like the Crispa Toyota, right. like Ginebra and Magnolia, something right. like that. And I think my hope is that PBA should open up the league to rival companies. Okay. Like uh, Tokentex and Globe. Okay. Like say uh, Blackwater and uh, Rexona. There should right. be rival companies right. to create excitement and you will have natural followings. Right. So, now let me put you on the spot. You know, is basketball the right sport that we should be promoting? I know basketball yeah. is very close to your heart. You played it as a young yeah. man. and. As you said, until yeah. a few years ago, you were still warming up with, yeah. you, with your team. Obviously, you love the game. But, you know, they say that Filipinos have a, a shorter stature. Maybe we should be promoting uh, other sports. Uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, if your product is a mass market product, basketball is still the best. Okay. So if your product is not mass marketed, I don't see why you should be there. Okay. So if your market, let's say, is uh, properties, then you go in a different, let's say, golf yeah, yeah, yeah. or other sports activity. But definitely, if you're like our product is mass market, we should be in the PBA, yeah. like Ginebra yeah. and San Miguel. It's mass market product. This, this, you know, playing the sport, playing basketball, did that help you as a as a businessman? Was there anything in the game? That made me made you different as as a you know as an entrepreneur. Actually, basketball helps a lot. It's like uh, my management team. Okay. It took me. I I professionalized my organization in early 2000. It took me two to three years before I have that team. So I'm happy that that team we formed early 2000 up to today maybe. Probably 70, 80 percent of the teams of the members are still there. Uh -huh. So it's like the basketball team. So you run it like a yeah. <laughs> like so a basketball team. they know what how I feel. They don't. I don't have to. Explain. You know who the players yes, are. You know, they know. You know yeah. what their roles yes. are. So I see. it's very similar. Okay. And so I go. I'm no Michael Jordan. I cannot win the championship <laughs> or I cannot get the glory. But yeah. I have to share with the whole team. Mm. So that's the way. To run the business, also. It's interesting that your 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 sports activities also overlap politics a bit. Yes. There was a time I think you were telling me before that uh, you know President Marcos, but he was not president then. Senator. He was a senator back then. Well, was doing some endorsements for Blackwater. The, that was two o eight two o nine. He was. Okay. Uh, we call him Bongit at the time. He was running for senator in 2010. Okay. So then I said, oh, partner, pwede bang ikaw ng endorser ko? Okay. Why not? Why not? Okay. So we call, smell good, feel good like a senator. Okay. So I love it. I love it. So okay. we even went to his house to have a photo shoot. Okay. So we did. Was he expensive as an endorser? Free. Free, okay. So 
And, you know, honestly, at that time, I said, you will be president one day. I already know it in my heart. How, how did you guys meet up? Uh, was, was he watching a game or did you get introduced uh, some, some No, other? he was introduced to me by Wilson Flores, the writer. Ah, okay. All right, so he's a dear yeah. friend. And then he said, oh, Zabinia. he asked me one question. Who is the best president for you? Okay. Sabi ko, si Marcos. Okay. Oh, I'll call Aimi, ah. And he, he really called and he put me on the line. Okay. So, oh, thank you, thank you for saying that. And then i like to meet you one of these days. So, so after a week or two, we had dinner with Aimi and uh, Bong Bong. And that's how our friendship started. Hmm. So, after the day, we still text, text lang. Kind of. Right. So, so are you looking at any other politicians for... Uh, uh, to be endorsers of uh, your products? Actually, Sunny Angana did it for me. Okay. And then, Manny Pacquiao also. Okay. So, <laughs> parang suki na mga senador. Eh. So, the, these are the, the personalities <coughs> we'll be looking at. Yeah. Sir, I mean, that's all the time that we have. But yeah. I really enjoyed our conversation today. Yeah. Uh, but before we go, Mr. C, maybe you'd like to uh, give a message to our audience? Well, uh, thank you uh, for... Mr. Dante Ang for uh, inviting me over. It was indeed a pleasure and honor to be here. And uh, I hope our audience support your show. And uh, remember, we can uh, dream, but we have to work hard for the dream. The dream will come through one day. So I hope you guys continue to patronize uh, your show, Business and Politics, and uh, I'll be watching your shows more often now. Well, sir, thank you very much. Your, you. your story is truly inspiring. Thank you. I'd like to thank our viewers watching uh, tonight and uh, those watching the replay. I'd also like to thank Pastor Apolo Kibuloy for making this program possible. This has been This is Some Politics, and I will see you next week.